I'm going along temporarily putting some screws in this uh, seat riser. And I just want to match that up with the same height as the bulkheads there. using two inch number 12 wood screws and I'm putting some uh, wax lubricant on that because we're going into oak and those get pretty I gotta tie this in with a block. I think I'll just glue a block of this behind there. About four inches. That should work. Okay, I'll be gluing those all this together with epoxy, so no need to worry. I ripped up some three-quarter inch by one inch plywood, and I'm going to use that to uh, go underneath this seat right here. That's going to do a couple things. It's going to be able to. I'm going to tie that bulkhead. I'm going to be able to glue and screw that right to that, and. Um, it's also going to give me, it's going to make that seat thicker and uh, have a more robust feel and uh, appearance. So it's going to go right in that corner. So I'm just going to mark where those tips are on those. Like I mentioned earlier, anything in carpentry, boat building, you always want to start with your largest anything first, in case you cut it an inch short or something like that. I've never done that, but it could happen. That way you can just use it uh, elsewhere. So I'll put an angle on one end and I'll hold it up to those marks and mark the other end. No measuring. I'm going to line this up with that mark. Throw these clamps on. Hello. 
So right now I'm working on the rear seats. I made this radius with the bandsaw, which I have to change the blade. That's, um, but I only generally cut them rough. I just leave the line on outside, and I have a template with the same gallon can radius on it. And I'm going to use my router with the tracing bit. It has the ball bearing, so this copies whatever whatever I that ball bearing runs around. It's gonna make the exact same duplicate. So I want to set it about right there. And this bearing is going to run on this piece here. So I'm going to screw this to the bottom side of the sheet. So I'm just adding this piece to the front of this. I'm going to make sure my seat's right in the right place. I'm going to butt it against the transom brace. Throw a clamp. I was going to mark it, but I think I'll just throw a clamp on it. that a little long again and we'll route that off. screws in that and roll it just like it is. Alright, it's the last seat. That's how that's supposed to look, I think. Now is a good time to get all the seat pots rolled out with epoxy.